Uh, previously is that you have said about your opponent, uh, Mr. Rubio, that he is the greatest fraud perpetrated. So it sounds like, you know, you've had a couple of us punches back as well. Why do you say that? Well, because he's trying to pawn himself off as a fiscal conservative. And yet, you know, just in, in recent weeks, about two weeks ago, it's come out news accounts that he had a Republican Party of Florida credit card that he charged a hundred and thirty dollar haircut or maybe it was a back wax we're not really sure what all he got at that place uh... but in addition uh, wait to that stop. He, wait, a he, back he, wax wait a second a I, I don't know what it was you, you know I, I know but I mean, was there a suggestion that it was for a back wax or a haircut i'm mean, just trying to make sure that are you being flipped or initially is there some we thought suggestion it was a haircut i don't know what it was uh, initially we were told it was a haircut and then he said, well, no, it wasn't a haircut. And then he had the gall to go on Neil Cavuto's show and said it was his money. It was a credit card from the Republican Party. It was party donors' money. So, I mean, the detachment from reality is stunning to me. And, you know, to try to say that you're a fiscal conservative, yet you spend $130 for maybe a haircut and maybe other things. Uh, I don't know what you do at a salon when you're a guy. I get my hair cut for 11 bucks from a guy named Carl the Barber in St. Petersburg, Florida, where I grew up. And, you know, to me, that's real fiscal conservative.